bill that has passed the House, a bill that did not attract any Republican support, Republicans calling it overreach. Congressman Joe Morelli, a co-sponsor of the bill, was joined by several local leaders this afternoon explaining the kind of impact that this bill could have on our community and elsewhere. Eric at a cost has more. Officials say over the years, the Supreme Court has gutted some of the primary achievements of the Voting Rights Act of 1965. They say this new law would aim to restore them. It's called the John Lewis Voting Rights Advancement Act, named after late civil rights activists who advocated for these rights. Officials say it's about restoring equal access to the ballot box. They say over the years, new laws were passed in some states, disproportionately impacting the underserved, especially black and brown communities. For example, some decreasing the amount of polling sites, making it harder for certain neighborhoods to easily vote, especially if they have limited transportation. This new law would review these challenges. Congressman Joe Morales says we're blessed to be in one of the best states to vote right now, but we have to be vigilant. I mean, we had, if you think about it, such amazing participation by voters last year, strangely enough and ironically enough because the pandemic allowed us to relax rules to make sure that absentee ballot applications could be taken. We learned a great deal about how to increase voter participation. We're looking for them to protect our fundamental right to vote. More specifically, protect the vote of the people that have been historically marginalized. August 26th is also Women's Equality Day, recognizing the 19th Amendment that was passed over 100 years ago, giving women the right to vote. Officials here say what better day than today for the House to take this action. Reporting, Eric Cost, News 8. Thank you, Eric Those opposing the bill say it's purely political. They fear it would amount to a constitutional or an unconstitutional federal power grab over local election law.